Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, so for today's devotion, the topic which I have picked up is Altars of Uncut Stones. Reading from Exodus chapter 20 verse 25, If you make an altar of stones for me, do not build it with dressed stones, for you will defile it if you use a tool on it. The word dressed stones is used in NIV, while in NLT uh, it is this it is said as uncut stones. I was curious to understand what this uh, uncut stones meant. So uncut stone signifies um, human effort. Uh, let's say if God said um, you can make uh, you know altars, you can build altars, you can design and you can create them, then uh, maybe they would have made beautiful altars, polished the stones, even made beautiful sculptures, uh, you know. And then when they made the sacrifices, uh, the focus will not be on the purity of the sacrifice or focus will not be on God. But instead, um, it could be deviated towards the altar, the, the beauty of the altar that they might be distracted to think, Oh, how beautiful the altar is, how uh, you know, precious it, with precious stones it is made or um, they might think uh, beautiful is the craftsmanship of the altar and then they might start uh, in their minds praising the person who built the altar. So uh, the intention was to shift, was to make sure that the focus uh, did not deviate from God and um, God wants us to, when we come to prayer, God wants us to uh, be focused on Him and not to shift our focus on anything else which is around us. Um, so the uncut stone um, in the altar represented the hand of God. Uh, so it is not human might, it is simply the hand of God, the creation of God. So when we come in prayer, uh, when we share a testimony or when we um, do when we give uh, the the act of worship or the encounter with God that we have the whole the sole focus of it should be on God only it should not be on anything else there are times when we feel that we we are far away from God and that um, I have felt, uh, you know, the, there is a kind of um, a barrier to pray or uh, a kind of a feeling that I am not worthy to come and sit to pray. It is um, not so. We should not believe the lie. The, it is a, it is a sat Satan's lie. Uh, so, God says that with a broken and the contrite heart, He wants us to come into His presence. It is not by us. The altar, it is uncut, it is his hand. So, he invites us to his presence. So, if there is anything in our minds that um, says uh, that we are not worthy to come into his presence, it is a lie. Friends, do not believe that lie. God um, invites us to his presence. Um, it is only by his hand, it is not by human effort at all. So, if we, if we think that it is by our own efforts that we come into His presence, it is wrong. No, it is not. The moment we think like that, we actually pollute the purity of the altar. So, let us remember that uh, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Anything, nothing can separate us from the love of God. So, let us uh, pray. Father God, thank you for this beautiful time of uh, meditation. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this word. Help us to come to your presence uh, with whatever burdens that we carry, with a broken heart, with a contrite heart, Lord. We come to your presence, Lord. We want to um, glorify you. We want to magnify you. It is not by our own efforts. It is just by you, Master. May you, your will alone be done in our lives. We come in this day into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.